Deadly Ditwa goes on a rampage. Sri Lanka's tragic destruction. Southern India on highest alert. Tracking 2025's year-end cyclone. Why has Ditwa caused huge destruction? Hello and welcome to Explain Dubai News X uh, with me Vineet Malhotra. Today we talk about Cyclone Ditwa, the tropical cyclone that has claimed hundreds of lives, destroying critical infrastructure in Sri Lanka and currently is made or is making its way into India. Let's begin from the start. Cyclones don't just appear, they brew in the cauldron of the tropics. Ditwa was born on the 25th of November 2025 as a well-marked low-pressure area in the southwest bay of Bengal, just offshore from Sri Lanka's southeastern coast uh, near uh, Potuwil. By 6 p.m. on the 26th of November, the Indian uh, Meteorological uh, Department tracked it as a depression, noting that uh, a low pressure area persists over the southwest bay of Bengal, South Sri Lanka, and adjoining equatorial Indian Ocean. What followed was a rapid escalation. The cyclone became a deep depression by midnight on the 26th and by dawn became a full cyclonic storm christened Ditwa. This is the fourth uh, named storm of uh, the 2025 North Indian Ocean season, a post-monsoon monster in a basin that spawns 75% of our regional cyclones due to its uh, funnel-shaped geography and warm ocean uh, eddies. Let's talk about the cyclone's harrowing trail from island to mainland. While well, Ditwa made its grim debut on Sri Lanka's eastern shores around the 27th of November, slamming into districts like uh, uh, Batikolau and uh, Trikomali, with winds gusting to 80 km per hour. Here's a picture from uh, Trinkomali as uh, Cyclone Ditwa hit Sri Lanka. You see the coast hit by high tidal waves serving as a trailer to what soon would destroy the whole district. Trinkomali was soon flooded fully submerging three-storied houses, leaving just the attics for residents to breathe in. The Sri Lankan Air Force rescued 33 strained, stranded, I beg your pardon, from the region. However, several remain missing still. The cyclone lingered in Sri Lanka, slow as a predator, dumping over 300 millimetres of rain in 24 hours. By 28th of November, it centred just uh, 30 kilometres southwest of uh, Trinkomali, it carved a north northwestern path across the islands, heartland, eastern and central provinces first, then the northwest towards Jaffna. On your screens is a picture from a city in Jaffna, and after the cyclone left the coast of Sri Lanka, where areas close to the city have not experienced any major flood damage. However, most parts of the district are still underwater, with several low-lying areas and villages remaining flooded after two days of heavy rain. On your screens is a video from a village in the same district where massive floods triggered by Cyclone Ditwa washed away a whole road, disrupting key connectivity and leaving hundreds stranded. Heavy rains turned rivers like uh, the Kilani into raging torrents, triggering landslides in Kandy and floods in Colombo's outskirts. Flights have been diverted uh, from uh, Bandra Naike International uh, uh, 15 in one go to Indian hubs like uh, Trivandrum and as it bridged the 100 km gap to India, Ditwa weakened slightly from uh, sheer but retained its uh, moisture-laden punch. In Sri Lanka, the toll is catastrophic, 159 confirmed dead as of this hour with 191 still missing and the rubble and receding floods. It started with 46 on the 28th, landslides claiming most in the east and central hills and by the 29th, it surged to past 123, then 132 as Central Candy saw fresh slides uh, submerging roads. Over 15,000 homes have been destroyed, 44,000 to 78,000 displaced into shelters, half a million affected across 25 districts. President uh, Dissa Naike declared a state of emergency yesterday. International aid has poured in, including India's Operation Sagar Bandhu, 21 tons of relief via Indian Air Force Seat 130 and uh, IL-76S plus the NDRF teams. The severe cyclonic storm has now made its way to India, lashing down on Tamil Nadu, killing at least three so far. Dawn broke on the 30th with Ditwa edging uh, northwards at a crawling 5 km per hour speed, its position at 10.7 degrees north and 80.6 degrees east. A stone's throw from the coast 
Uh, gale force winds ramped up to 70 to 80 kilometers per hour, gusting to 90, battering the waves into three to four meter monsters that clawed at Marina Beach in Chennai and flooded Rameshwaram's low-lying streets. This is where the cyclone first kissed Indian soil, not with a road, but a relentless downpour. Red alert screamed across uh, the Koramandal coast, the Kundalore, the Nagapatnam, the Maila Duturai and Viluparam districts where isolated bursts dumped 200 mm in mere hours, turning paddy fields into lakes and salt pans into salty graveyards. Rain triggered by Cyclone Ditwa, which entered the open sea, inching towards Tamil Nadu coast, lashed the coastal areas in the Kaveri Delta districts. Nagapatnam felt the first brutal lash, winds peaking at 70 km per hour, whipping through fishing hamlets and uprooting thatched roofs, while 150 mm of rain in 12 hours swelled the uh, Kudyarupu River into a muddy beast. Nearby, the Vedarayam, that sacred coastal town, shuddered under squalls of 60 to 70 km per hour, its temples trembling as waves breached sea walls. By noon on the 30th, it skimmed within 50 km of the Puducherry coast, winds easing slightly to 60-70 km per hour, but still ferocious enough to ground 54 flights at Chennai's airport and divert 15 more from Trivandrum. Puducherry's port hoisted cyclone warning signal number 2, Winds 60 to 90 km per hour were imminent as rough seas chewed at the promenade and 100 mm of rain turned arterial roads into rivers. Chennai, 260 km south of the eye, yet squarely in the storm's flank, reeled from 70 km per hour gusts at Marina Beach, where crowds defied warnings to witness the spectacle only to scatter as breakers crashed 4 meters high. Let's take a look at some of the most dramatic visuals coming in from Tamil Nadu. On your screens are the visuals as rough sea and strong winds at the Marina Beach in Chennai due to the impact of the cyclone Ditwa. As per the latest update, Ditwa lies over the southwest bay of Bengal and adjoining north uh, Tamil Nadu Puducherry coast moved nearly northwards with the speed of 12 km per hour during past six hours. Authorities have confirmed that the minimum distance of the centre of the cyclone from North Tamil Nadu, Puducherry coast is about 70 kilometres and it is very likely to move nearly northwards parallel to the North Tamil Nadu, Puducherry coast during next 24 hours. Shifting our focus to Nagapatnam, which uh, is one of the most affected districts in Tamil Nadu, the uh, Manang Kondam River has uh, been flooded. Uh, cutting off the road leading to uh, the uh, Karupulla village. More than 100 acres of paddy fields in this village have been completely destroyed and submerged, causing severe damage to agricultural prospects. Meanwhile, a senior scientist at the Indian Meteorological Department has spoken on the impact of Cyclone Ditwa in India. Listen in. It's a, it, it will be there, actually not exactly vanished from this area, but it will be there till uh, one uh, first morning as a de de depression and uh, after uh, first also after becoming a depression it will be impacting the uh, south uh, Andhra Pradesh coast and that area. So today and uh, as well as tomorrow it will be impacting that in North Tamil Nadu as well as uh, south Andhra Pradesh. And this strong wind, now it is 70, 80 kmph, gusting to 90 kmph, but it will gradually decrease. After some time, it will become 60 to 70. Uh, and then by uh, evening time, it will become, uh, it will be the squally wind, 50 to uh, 60 kmph. Uh, but uh, thereafter, uh, it will be there and the rainfall, mainly that extremely heavy rainfall, will be there over uh, Tamil Nadu, Northern Tamil Nadu, coastal air belt and uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall will be there also uh, uh, south coastal air. Well, strong winds and rough sea conditions have been witnessed in Tamil Nadu's capital city as Cyclone Ditwa moves closer. On your screens are more visuals from Marina Beach where the strong winds can be seen blowing away tents, hitting trees with a strong impact. This path from Sri Lanka's battered east to India's vigilant north spans 500 kilometers of the subcontinental sorrow. A reminder that cyclones like Ditwa don't conquer borders, they blur them in deluge and despair. 
as the storm veers due north after today dissipating into the bay's embrace our recovery begins but the winds whispered a warning in a warming world these monsters grow bolder all right we take a short break on that note be right back deadly deetwa goes on a rampage sri lanka's tragic destruction southern india on highest alert tracking 2025's year end cyclone why has deetwa caused huge destruction 